In calculus, interchange of the order of integration is a methodology that transforms iterated integrals of functions into other, hopefully simpler, integrals by changing the order in which the integrations are performed. In some cases, the order of integration can be validly interchanged, in others it cannot. Problem statement the problem for examination is evaluation of an integral of the form where d is some two-dimensional area in the xy plane. For some functions f straightforward integration is feasible, but where that is not true, the integral can sometimes be reduced to simpler form by changing the order of integration. The difficulty with this interchange is determining the change in description of the domain d. The method also is applicable to other multiple integrals. Sometimes, even though a full evaluation is difficult, or perhaps requires a numerical integration, a double integral can be reduced to a single integration, as illustrated next. Reduction to a single integration makes a numerical evaluation much easier and more efficient. Relation to integration by parts Consider the iterated integral, which we will write using the prefix notation commonly seen in physics. In this expression, the second integral is calculated first with respect to y and x is held constant, a strip of width dx is integrated first over the y direction, adding up an infinite amount of rectangles of width dy along the y-axis. This forms a three-dimensional slice dx wide along the x-axis, from y equals a to y equals x along the y-axis, and in the z direction z equals f. Notice that if the thickness dx is infinitesimal, x varies only infinitesimally on the slice. We can assume that x is constant. This integration is as shown in the left panel of figure 1, but is inconvenient especially when the function h is not easily integrated. The integral can be reduced to a single integration by reversing the order of integration as shown in the right panel of the figure. To accomplish this interchange of variables, the strip of width dy is first integrated from the line x equals y to the limit x equals z, and then the result is integrated from y equals a to y equals z, resulting in. This result can be seen to be an example of the formula for integration by parts, as stated below, substitute, which gives the result. Principal value integrals for application to principal value integrals, see Whitaker and Watson, Gakov, Lu, or Zwillinger. See also the discussion of the Poincaré Bertrand transformation in Obelashvili. An example where the order of integration cannot be exchanged is given by Canwell. While the second form is evaluated using a partial fraction expansion in an evaluation using the Sok Hotsky Plemelge formula. The notation indicates a Cauchy principal value. See Canwell. Basic theorems. A good discussion of the basis for reversing the order of integration is found in the book Fourier Analysis by T.W. Corner. He introduces his discussion with an example where interchange of integration leads to two different answers because the conditions of theorem 2 below are not satisfied. Here is the example. Two basic theorems governing admissibility of the interchange are quoted below from Chowdhury and Zabair. Theorem I. Let f be a continuous function of constant sign defined for x less than infinity, c y less than infinity, and let the integrals in regarded as functions of the corresponding parameter be, respectively, continuous for c y less than infinity, and x less than infinity. Then if at least one of the iterated integrals and converges, the other integral also converges and the values coincide. Theorem 2, let f be continuous for x less than infinity, c y less than infinity, and let the integrals and be respectively, uniformly convergent on every finite interval c y less than c and on every finite interval or x less than a, then if at least one of the iterated integrals and converges, the iterated integrals and also converge and the values are equal. The most important theorem for the applications is quoted from Protter and Mori. Theorem, suppose f is a region given by where p and q are continuous and p q for x b. Suppose that f is continuous on f, 
Then the corresponding result holds if the closed region F has the representation where Rs for C, Y, D. In such a case, in other words both iterated integrals, when computable, are equal to the double integral and therefore equal to each other.